Hey everyone, this is Stellar Firefly. This is a quick video about how to use CDLC or custom DLC songs within Rocksmith 2014. It's really very easy to do, but people still have questions about it in the forums, and I haven't yet seen a video tutorial, so I figured that I'd drop down a quick one. These instructions are specifically for the PC version, but I'll also show you where to find instructions about how to do it on the Mac, the Xbox, and the PS3 later on in the video. First of all, I'm going to assume that you have access to download the CDLC of your choice. For most of you, this just means that you have forum access to Smithy's Anvil. And I'll put a link in the description, or you could just click on the video right now. The first thing you'll want to download is the infamous d3dx9 underscore 42.dll file. You'll find links to it in the Smithy's Anvil forums, or just click on this video, or just look into the description of this video for a link. After you download this DLL, just move it into the root of your, of your Rocksmith 2014 folder. If you bought RS2014 through Steam like I have, you could find this folder at Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Rocksmith 2014. Or if you bought it separately, then it's wherever you told it to install. Next you'll want to download the CDLC itself, so let's head on over to the Anvil and find ourselves, um, let's grab ACDC's Back in Black over here. Now if you go to the thread for that song, you'll see at some point, hopefully anyways, a download link. So we'll just click on that and download it. And once we download it, we will have a .psarc file, or .psarc file. If it's in a zip archive or something, then just go ahead and extract it first. Now what we want to do with our downloaded PSARC file is to copy it into the DLC folder beneath our Rocksmith 2014 folder. So head back to your Rocksmith 2014 install location. Look for your DLC folder. And in here you'll see all of the DLC or download, downloadable songs that you may have purchased, if any. And you'll just want to copy and paste that, um, the downloaded CDLC into the same folder. And finally, and this is the part that's, well, it's easy, but it can be tricky for those of you doing this for the very first time. But you want to go back to the forum post for your CDLC and find the description area for it. In there you'll see a, a line labeled app ID or sometimes package ID as in the case here. Most of the time for RS2014 you'll see this value be set to Cherub Rock, the song by the Smashing Pumpkins. You may also sometimes see an actual ID number for Cherub Rock, which is 248750. Now the reason that this is important is that in order to be able to use a CDLC song, you need to have purchased and downloaded some other official DLC song. And Cherub Rock is the most common, mainly because there's a lot of people who pre-ordered RS2014 before it was um, officially released, and they were able to grab the Cherub Rock DLC for free. So there's a lot of people who have it already. Now if you already purchased the DLC listed for the CDLC, in this case Cherub Rock, then you're done. However, if you purchased a different DLC, then here's how to change the app ID so that it works for you. To change the app ID of a CDLC, you'll need to download one more piece of software, the Custom Song Toolkit. This is a toolkit that people use to actually create the CDLC songs. But how to do that is way beyond the scope of this video. But it will also let us change the app ID of songs. Just go to rscustom.net and download the latest version. Again, just click here or find the link in the description. Once you download it, just extract it into a folder anywhere on your system. And then look for the rocksmithtoolkitgui.exe file and launch that. In the Custom Song Creator Toolkit, you'll want to go to the tab labeled DLC Packer Unpacker. And here, on the very leftmost drop-down, change that to RS2014. And then in the drop-down right next to it, here's where you want to find and select the DLC that you did purchase, if you did not purchase you know, whatever DLC was associated with the CDLC you're trying to download. So for example, say you instead purchased Iron Maiden's Two Minutes to Midnight. We'll go ahead and select that. And now you want to click on the Choose DLC button and just find the PSARC file that you just downloaded for which you want to change its app ID. 
and then press open. And in just a couple of seconds, it should just say app ID update complete. And you are done. The app ID for the CDLC that you just downloaded has now been changed from whatever it was, in our case, Cherub Rock, to Iron Maiden 2 minutes to midnight. And then just press OK, and you are all set. All right, and if everything works the way it should, then we should be able to see the CDLC inside of RS2014. Oh, and uh, ignore all the graphics glitches there. That's just my video capture being all wonky. So I hope that this video tutorial was helpful to a lot of you. The team over at Smithy's Anvil only just figured out the new RS2014 format like less than a week before this video came out, and new CDLCs have been absolutely pouring out from the Anvil community. So huge thanks to all of the content creators out there, and now go and check out their awesome work. Enjoy!